It is 516 right now, and to your health Memorial Day weekend, the unofficial start of summer, barbecues, trips to the beach, a lot of time outside. But that also means a spike in Lyme disease. Health reporter Kelly Swoop shows us how a new documentary is trying to keep the disease from getting under your skin. And we want to warn you, some of the video is tough to watch. Unable to walk, talk, function, these are the faces of Lyme disease. The documentary Under Our Skin will likely leave an impression on your mind. It's a feeling of being trapped within your own body. So it's like being wrapped up real tight like a mummy. So you can't move anything. From stories like Mandy Hughes, who's battled Lyme for 10 years, to others who've waited at least that or longer to be diagnosed. Doctors thought I had ADD. Chronic fatigue syndrome. Chronic fatigue syndrome. Parkinson's disease. Syphilis. Lisa Devoin Murray of Columbia also shares her story in the movie. In 2003, she was diagnosed with Lyme after 15 years of symptoms. Severe headache. Medication for my nausea. Lisa is on six different Medication medications. While her quality of life has improved, living with Lyme, she says, is still a struggle. And it can rob you of your job. It can rob you of your family, um, just as life as you know it, and all because we're not educated. If I hadn't had any kids, I, I might kill myself. Through personal journeys, the documentary aims to educate people about chronic like Lyme disease so and the controversy. The Lisa lives in fear of Lyme. Just last week, they pulled this tick from her son, Jamal. He got antibiotics. She'll have it tested to see if it carries the disease. Her 15-year-old daughter, Taraja, recently slipped into a coma. She suffered from viral meningitis, encephalitis, and also tested positive for Lyme. I don't want her to have to go through this. No, no parent should ever have to watch their child go through this when the education and information is out there. Some have said that it's the most underdiagnosed and overdiagnosed illness there is. GBMC infectious diseases expert Dr. Charles Hale says Lyme is a fascinating disease. It is a disease that I would call curable, meaning the bacteria can be gotten rid of, uh, but some, uh, the rare patient will continue to have some symptoms and those, patient need, needs, uh, those patients need special attention. The worst part is knowing that you're just not a normal person. Under Our Skin takes a close look at the medical divide when it comes to Lyme. The Infectious Diseases Society of America claims chronic Lyme disease doesn't exist. It completely ignores a worldwide body of literature that is in contradiction to what they're saying. We're not going to ignore good science, but the science isn't there. So I shared my story, and um, I hope that, along with everyone else, if the word gets out there, people will pay a bit more attention to when they're outside um, to do a tick check, um, to share it with their kids. Shedding light on a disease that has left many with dark days. Kelly Swoop, ABC2 News.